Hi, in this video we're going to consolidate everything we've just learned about Nazi control before the war in Unit 2, Control. So you should have by now watched videos 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3. This is the bit of the course that looks at control and opposition from 1933 to 1939 and it's the second of the five units for the OCRB course. In this unit we've looked at three different things. We started off looking at the machinery of terror and how the terror, the Nazis used terror to control the German people. We looked at the SS, the Gestapo, the courts and concentration camps. And I hope you're noting I'm not including everything because you're never ever going to be able to remember everything. So I've tried to only include the most important things today. In the second video in this unit, we looked at how the Nazis tried to win over the hearts and minds of the German people through propaganda. We looked at posters, newspapers, radio and rallies. And in the last video, we looked at whether opposition was significant or not. We looked at opposition from the left, from the church and from young people. Now in this bit before the war, this pre-war years from 33 to 39, the big historical question that really runs through this entire unit is to what extent did the Nazis successfully control the German people? Did they control them or did they not? That's the big question that runs through the whole of this unit. And it might be a really good point at this point, just to pause this video and if you see if you can note anything down about that question. What have you learned over the last few videos that might help you answer that? Now, just like at the end of the consolidation for Unit 1, we're going to look at an exam question today. And we're going to look at a big essay question. Now, this is the type of essay question that you might get given when you sit your exams for OCR B GCSE. And the question we're looking at this morning is the German people were successfully controlled by the Nazi people between 1933 and 1939. How far do you agree? So the German people were successfully controlled by the Nazi party between 33 and 39. And again, depending on how much help you want with this video, you could just pause it now, see if you can write an essay plan, and then see if you can write an essay without any help. If you want further help though, please continue watching. Now with an essay question, just like any essay question that you do at GCSE, you always need to think about what are the two sides to the argument. And the two sides to the argument here are quite simple. On the one hand, we want to argue that the German people were successfully controlled by the Nazi party. And on the other hand, we're going to look at the counter argument that the German people were not successfully controlled by the Nazi party. Really simple, really easy. I'd pause the video here, copy this essay plan, and see if you can come up with any evidence for either side of this argument yourself before you watch on. If you're still watching, that's perfectly okay. Let's see if we can list out any evidence. So let's start with the German people were successfully controlled by the Nazi party. For me, the biggest piece of evidence we want to talk about on this side of the argument is the fact that the Germans were controlled through fear. And again, what I'm hoping you're noticing is I'm not going to include everything. This is going to be one of my big four points I'm going to make in this essay. One of my points is going to be about the Germans were controlled through fear. I'm going to mention the SS, I'm going to mention the Gestapo, and I'm going to mention the concentration camps, and I'm going to leave the other bits out, because I cannot write everything in this essay. So my one big point here is the Germans were controlled through fear. And I'm pretty sure that most of you will be able to guess what my second point is. And my second point is that the Germans were controlled through propaganda. And again, I've not included everything. I've personally included posters, radio and newspapers. You could have ditched some of those and instead put film or rallies or the Olympics in instead. So that one side of the argument, I'm going to have the Germans were successfully controlled. One big point, they were controlled through fear. Second big point, they were controlled through propaganda. On the reverse though, let's have a look at the counter argument. And in my second half of my essay, where I'm going to be talking about they were not successfully controlled, I'm going to be arguing that some people weren't controlled 
at all by the Nazis because some people opposed them. Opposition is clear evidence that actually the Nazis didn't control everybody. If they controlled everybody, there would have been no opposition. The fact that there was opposition is evidence to prove the Nazis did not control everyone. Now again, I can't write about everybody, so I'm going to choose two groups to talk about. It's really obvious to me that I'm going to talk about the left, because opposition from the left was the most active and the most persistent. So in my paragraph where I'm going to talk about how opposition came from the left, I'm going to talk about the Social Democrats, I'm going to talk about the Communists. Now, I've got a choice here. I could talk about the church or I could talk about young people next. I've decided in my essay, I'm going to talk about young people. The church is quite complicated for me because it gets complicated between Protestants and Catholics. Young people is easier for me to understand. So I'm going to include this and this is going to be my last of my big four points. So I'm going to talk about the fact that young people oppose the Nazis. And that to me is really obvious evidence that the German people were not successfully controlled. I'm going to in my paragraph about young people, I'm going to talk about swing kids. And I'm going to talk about the Edelweiss pirates. So you can see here, these are my big four points. Fear, propaganda, opposition from the left, opposition from young people. I cannot write about everything. I'm just going to focus on those four. And like any essay question, the absolute fundamental thing is explaining your point. If I'm going to explain my point here, I need to be using that phrase successfully controlled throughout my essay. This shows the German people were successfully controlled because. This shows the German people were not successfully controlled because. If you do that, you're going to end up with a brilliant essay. And then you can lead that on to a conclusion. Now, in OCRB, the conclusion is where you should put your clinching argument. The thing that goes beyond the content that you've mostly been talking about and makes a bigger point. The bigger point that I would be making here Personally, I'd talk about the size of the opposition and the fact they were tiny. And to me, that shows actually the German people were successfully controlled by the Nazi party in this period before the war. Please do write up that essay. It's a really good way of consolidating everything we've done so far in this unit.